issues. For truly I say to you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move hence to yonder place, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Whether Jesus spoke of sheep or of vines in the field, his words all preached the same lessons of love. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Many who listened to Jesus had grapevines growing amidst their gardens, sprawling over rocky places where other crops would not grow. Many others toiled in the vineyards of rich landowners. They would cut the plump ripe fruit in midsummer. Some they would douse in hot water, adding a handful of wood ash. Then they'd spread the fruit under the hot sun to dry into raisins. Most of the crop was turned into wine. This natural rock pit has been used as a wine press since the time of Jesus. People still crush the grapes under their bare feet as they did then.